Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we're going to go through two stud farm methods you can use inside of LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga to gain studs super fast. So without further ado, let's just get straight into this video. Now for the first method, you're going to first want to make your way toward Bespin and come toward the Cloud City. Now once here, you can either grab the walker which I believe should be right here, or no, sorry, it's right over here. You can grab this walker, or if you don't want that, you can go ahead and change your character toward the, I believe it's the rain core. So go ahead and select this character. And basically what we simply need to do is we're going to just walk around the map. And if you have, I believe it's one of the upgrades, it's the attract studs um, upgrade. If you max this out, this will make this method super, super fast. But basically walk around the map, and basically just destroy everything in your path as the Rancor. And doing this, you should gain an absolute heap of studs. Now, if you don't have a stud multiplier, you'd probably gain around 200,000 studs for going through the whole city. However, if you have a multiplier equipped, well, then you can gain up to around, I'd say 500 million studs each time you spawn in your game. And obviously, as you go around the map, the structures should respawn as you move so basically you can always go back and forth if you need but just go around the map just destroying anything and everything in your path so that is basically the first method super simple super easy and if you are on episode 5 if you're on coruscant this can also work out because there are a lot of um structures in coruscant which you can destroy it's in the federal district but i suggest using this in cloud city as it has the most amount of structures in the game but that's the first method in the video and let's move on to method number two for method number two make your way toward the rise of skywalker mission and go ahead and select a skip and a jump this uh method will require you to complete the sequel trilogy but if you have done this well you can go ahead and start your level by going toward a level mission or level selection and picking on the mission or selecting it with that, we're going to go ahead and load up this mission and we should get a cutscene. We're going to skip this and we're going to go ahead and get into this method. When you spawn in, there will be a bunch of air vents and what we need to do is simply shoot the vents. And each time we shoot a vent, it gives a nice amount of studs. So we're going to go ahead and continue to fly straight. And as you're flying, do note, um, each vent will give you around a thousand studs with no multiplier, but with a multiplier, you'll gain a lot more. Another thing you can do is shoot the TIE Fighters, but if you don't shoot these straight away, you can just focus on shooting the vents and doing that, you can get the most amount of stars because if you shoot all TIE Fighters, the mission will end and you want to utilize and get as much studs as you possibly can from the mission. And I've just exploded. Nice. So yeah, just go ahead, keep on going straight and just collect every single stud you can see. And once you have the amount you want, you can destroy all the TIE Fighters and you can go on and redo the mission and continue to do this until you gain a nice amount of studs and i do recommend this if you don't have multipliers if you want to collect studs fast for these multipliers do this mission as it's super efficient and once you, you've done this you can then go ahead go on cloud cd and just walk around the map and you can just gain a nice few amount of studs doing this uh, method but that's pretty much it for this video those were the two best stud farm methods in lego star wars the skywalker saga if you guys have enjoyed them please do consider smashing the like button as it does help this video spread to more viewers on the platform and until next time take it easy and goodbye